for my sister Scrapper. I have a quick Valentine project I want to share with you. This, of course, is a mini album and it's the vertical paper bag. Uh, the design paper that I used for this mini album is Crate Papers 14, which is their Valentine uh, collection. This paper's darling. I love all the colors um, the pinks, the aquas, the browns, the yellows, the reds. It's, it's darling. Um, what I did on the front cover was I found this little um, metal photo corner in my stash and it was actually uh, kind of a teal blue color to match the paper collection. So I put that in the corner. I used a, an ivory colored or cream colored cardstock as my base and the paper bags that I used in this mini album are actually white paper bags but I did distress everything with uh, frayed burlap. I have some little recollection flowers here in the pink, the teal, and the yellow. I added this little uh, aqua colored crochet trim and I went ahead and just self pleated it myself and then glued it down with some uh, more little velvet trim that was pleated on top of that little sheer ribbon. This is a die cut from the collection, this and same with the heart and I put them on some dimensionals as well as the 14 here. The pearls are uh, some Prima pearls. This is a little heart from, I think I got it at Hobby Lobby, it's uh, the Paper Studio, their brand. And then I also have another little stamp here that's a die cut from the collection. Uh, behind here I actually have a heart shaped doily. I put the heart up on some dimensionals here and I created a little stick pin. I found these little heart stick pins in my stash and I added some beads and pearls to it and then just added that right there. On the spine I um, went ahead and found this metal plate and I just adhered that down. I might do a rub on or something. I'm not quite sure if I'm going to put something on there or not. Here's some seam binding that I colored with some distress stains and some uh, Lindy stamp gang. I also have a little charm here. Um, and these I got from Michaels. They're from Artie Craft in the jewelry section. This one says love and on the back side it has a really cute um, fleur de lis that's all glittery. There's a cute little key here with a little pink bead on the bottom and then there's another little giant pearl here with um, some bling around the bottom and the top and a little crown. So those are the three little charms and then this is the back. Love the heart shaped paper. And again I used three eighths of an inch in between my pages but as you can see um, it's still kind of poofy so I might put a closure on it I'm not sure. So you open it up and on the inside front cover I did keep it pretty simple. I got this really cute um, craft colored envelope and I got it from my, I was at a, an all day crop and um, my friend Dory had these and I said oh those are really cute and so she let me have one so thanks Dory. I added that to the front. I did kind of dress it up a little bit. I put a couple little photo corners here that were from the paper collection. I added a little flower to the top of uh, this little circle here and then a little um, brad that I cut the legs off and uh, said love and I stuck that on the bottom one. So this is just a little string and it just unwraps. So I'm going to write a little note to the person that's getting this mini album and stick it inside there. So that's what that's for. On the first page um, I used uh, Fisker's Corner Punch to add a little decorative edge. It kind of looked like lace. I thought that was kind of cute. And then I have this cute little fold out here and I did add a magnet so it just kind of sticks it on there. And then this little um, cardstock cutout holds the little flap closed so that just opens like this and there's a little pocket in there. So I can put a little note in there. And that just goes back here. This is a little Martha Stewart uh, heart lace punch. And then I add a little brad and a little tag right here. So you open it up and I have um, all, some more die cuts and some flowers here that I layered on. A little chipboard piece and some bling. And then these are, this little tag is from the paper collection. I glued that down and here's uh, two more little tags. So those just go in there. Again, I um, added some dimensionals here and a little label here. I added a little Tim Holtz game spinner to this little brad. I did make this a pocket and stuck a couple of tags in there. Again, these are from the paper collection. And then on each one of the tags that go inside the tops of the paper bags, what I did was um, they have design paper on one side and then they have the Bow Bunny Double Dot Pink Paper on the opposite side, I did go ahead and use the uh, Fisker's Corner Punch on all four corners. And then on each one of them, I used the Stampin' Up! Tab Punch and punched a hole in it with an eyelet. And then I added some dyed seam binding, and this is Gossamer Gold. And then I also added a little safety pin with a little charm attached. And these little charms are actually from Prima. They're the Marion Smith Trinkets, and I got those at Hobby Lobby. 
so you flip it over and this is the pocket section of the paper bag. Again, these are some canvas flowers that I got at Michael's and I went ahead and sprayed this one with Gossamer Gold and layered it together with some more flowers. Again, another um, die cut from the collection. These are cute little Valentine, vintage Valentines that I went ahead and just cut out from the paper collection and then I made photo mats for all of them. And then these little uh, tab pulls were actually stickers from the paper collection. I went ahead and added those on there. So there's a number on one side and then a date on the other side. And again, this is just glued down. Let's go back in there. And on this side, again, I just made it kind of decorative. I do have this open so a photo or something in a tag can be stuck in behind there. Again, some more little canvas flowers with the little brad in the middle. A label that I put ahead, went ahead and put on some dimensionals. Another little doily that I glued down with some glossy accents and um, another little die cut from the paper collection. Open it up and I have a little photo mat here and another little label. Um, these little flowers were the die cuts that I went ahead and just adhered down one side and stuck a couple of tags in there. I love this little tag with the little girls. It's my Valentine. And again, happy Valentine's Day. And here's the photo mat for this side. Love the little border strip paper and the little pearl bling. Again, this one is actually from Temples. And the design paper on the back, or the bow bunny double dot on the back. Over here, again, another die cut, a border punch with the Martha Stewart. Some more little uh, die cuts. I just layered them on top of each other. I love this little cute little um, flashcard. It says, you plus me equals love. And then here is the photo map for this one. Again, this one says number two, and then it's blank on the opposite side. Over here, I added a little metal piece. It says cherish. I created a little photo mat here. Again, some more of those little canvas flowers that I layered on top of each other with another little um, recollections flower that I got in the dollar fifty bin, and another stick pen that I created with a little pink heart and then some red and uh, clear beads right there. Oops! You open it up, and I stuck some tags under the 14 here and I just glued it down on one side. Give me just some more of the photo tags and another the photo mat. This is a little uh, fold out that um, you just open like this. And oopsie, you can just open like this and like this and like this. So those just go back in there. that a little bit it doesn't open very well and again I have the photo tag at the top here again another little uh, trinket from Marion Smith on the top here and some seam binding and the bow bunny on the back on this page um, I just went ahead and pop dotted a little uh, die cut on top of here I added a border strip from the sticker sheet Again, here's a couple more photo mats inside here. Again, this is Be My Valentine. These were actually cut out, so I just cut them apart. And this is the photo mat, and it has a little, again, stickers from the sticker sheet that were little tab pulls. This is number three, and it says Love on the back. Love the heart paper. This was a die cut. I went ahead and just popped it up here, this little banner piece, and trimmed it down and added it to the top of here, and another little um, die cut piece. I have a little photo mat here, and a photo corner, a little metal photo corner I stuck on the outside here. I added some little heart bling. Again, some little pearls, another little photo mat, canvas flower with a button on top. These I just had in my stash, these little buttons. Again, some more over here, a little um, red arrow swirl bling that I added over here. This little die cuts is you and me, a little place for a photo. And here's a photo mat for this one. And this one has the teal on the back side. Again, I have some more little flowers, and a little stick pin. Love the little red lips with a little clear bead and a little pearl. This was a white leaf from Prima and I sprayed it with Gossamer Gold. I added some lace and pearl trim to the top of this page. That looked like kind of a joy paper. Again, I love this cute little vintage. It says love on it. And here's number four. And then I put the 14 paper and it's playing on the back. Over here I went ahead and took this little uh, heart-shaped doily and adhered it to the front of this um, piece of acetate. Stuck a sticker here and then I added a flower with one of the um, buttons I found in my stash and then I made a little tag and then I added all this is from um, Glitz Designs. It's a little uh, self-adhesive bobble and I add some seam binding here 
I went ahead and stapled my seam binding on and then I just added that on the top. And a little chipboard key and again another little uh, doily that I inked around the edges with frayed burlap and then glued that down. So this goes back in here. Open it up and I thought the little 14 paper was so cute I didn't know what to do with it so I just left it blank. Love the little dicycle cut out. I put on some foam tape again another canvas flower. I left this open so she can slide the photo underneath the photo frame here. It kind of looks like a Polaroid. And here is the photo mat for this one. Again, it's that really super cute 14 paper. Um, another trinket from Prima, Marion Smith Designs, right here. And over here, again, I have another little stick pen. This was a little yellow heart, and I added some little uh, beads to it. Another little metal photo corner piece right here. Some canvas flowers. I punched out a couple of leaves. And here is the little cutout for this one. And this one says number five. And XOXO on the back. Again, those were stickers from the sticker sheet, and I just glued them back to back. Over here, this was a sticker that I took the sticky off and just adhered it on one side and made this little um, fold-out tag for a place for some little photos there. Again, um, this is actually up on some dimensionals and you can put a photo here. It says lovely and sweet. Added some little bling there. That goes in there. And you open it up. I, again, I just adhered the side here and layered um, some of the die cut pieces on top of each other. Created another little journaling spot in a photo mat. Right here and here, there's a couple photo mats here. This I put on some dimensionals, again another die cut sheet, or no that was a sticker and I put it on some cream card card stuff. This is a cute little die cut with a boy and a girl, I just glued them down on the one side and um, added some photo mats to this. And then I went ahead, this little uh, paper clip heart was a die cut as well and I just glued that down to the top of this little piece of cream colored card stuff that I edge punched with the uh, lace doily punch from Martha Stewart. And again, here's the little tag for this one. On this one, I have a cute little key here, charm, and again, it's attached with a safety pin. And then this is the back page. Again, another little die cut piece. I layered some together. This was cut from that Martha Stewart little uh, heart edge punch, which is darling. There's the photo mats here, another little vintage Valentine. 14 for this one, and then it says my heart, the photo mat here. Again, another little metal photo corner piece and some of the design paper. On the back inside cover, I added another little um, metal photo corner. I layered this heart here and the little calendar pages this February 14th. I put those on some dimensionals and I just layered some of the tags here. This I glued down some more canvas flowers. Another one of those little um, paper clip cardstock die cuts. And then another little stick pin that I made with a little blue heart with some beads on it. And then this is a glassine envelope. And I added a little photo mat to that. So that's my little Valentine paper bag mini album. And that's the back cover. So there you go, everybody. I think it turned out pretty cute. This paper is divine. It's perfect for Valentine's Day. There you have it. Thanks for watching. Bye.